Welcome back, Atticus authors and self-publishers. If we have not met before, my name is Monique Danielle, and I am the Educational Content Curator and Customer Success Manager for Atticus, the book formatting and writing software. Today, I have some really exciting news for you because Atticus has had an update. We've added a feature that authors have been asking for for ages, and it is now available and ready for you to use inside Atticus. One of the things that our authors have been requesting is the ability to add and use more fonts in their design choices, particularly the chapter headings and subheadings, etc. So how does maybe somewhere around 1500 or more font sound to you? Well, that is exactly what we've added to Atticus now. Our programmers have been hard at work integrating Atticus with Google Fonts. And so now you have the entire Google Fonts library at your disposal. If you have not opened up Atticus in the last day or two, what I suggest is that you do an update of your program. We recommend doing this every once in a while just to make sure everything is running properly, but here's what you're going to want to do. First of all, click on the profile icon in the very top right of Atticus and use the log out link there. You'll know you're successful when it brings you back to the login page. This just really helps keep Atticus updated and refreshed. As soon as you're logged out, you can log right back in. And for good measure, we recommend you do a hard refresh. For a Windows computer, this means pressing Control Shift R. For a Mac, this is Command Shift R. That covers most devices. But if it doesn't work for you, check out our tutorials. I'll link the right one below and it has some more codes for you there. As a best practice, we do recommend logging out of Atticus after each session or at least once a week to make sure that all updates are integrated, as well as making sure your program is integrated properly with all of the Chrome updates or browser updates that happen on a regular basis as well. This is just one of those things with progressive web apps that has to happen for maintenance. And honestly, for security, it's best for your account anyway. So if you get in the habit of logging out of Atticus after each writing session, you'll know everything is fully up to date when you log back in for your next writing or formatting session. Anyways, let's get to the good stuff. I'm going to hop into Atticus and show you our new Google Fonts feature right now. Okay, so here we are inside a book in Atticus to adjust your chapter fonts so that they appear fancy where you can choose your own fonts this way. You're going to wanna to click on formatting choose your theme, click the three dots to edit. Now in all of the drop down menus for your chapter heading section and your subheading section, you will see this new beta library feature. Now it says beta because out of 1500 or more fonts, our team wasn't able to test every single font with every single feature. So please note that not every single font is going to be absolutely perfect. We have tested for general compatibility and you shouldn't have any problems. But if you notice any inconsistencies, please do let us know. You're always welcome to write into support. In any case, you'll find the options from the drop down menu. You can click on library and it will open up the Google Fonts library. You can see I already have a few favorited here but you can search the library, which actually has 1612 fonts available for you. You can search for a particular font if you know which one you want, or you can filter by these different options here. So if you want something very kind of big and bold and display font, you would choose that here and run through the options until you find one that you like. So let's say we like... How about this Caesar dressing? That looks pretty cool. So when you find one that you like, you want to hit the add to favorites button. You can do this for any of the fonts that you want for your particular book that you're working on. You can choose more than one at a time. Uh, here, I'll add bungee shade as well. Now, I'm not suggesting that these are ideal for books. They're just what I've chosen for this particular tutorial. Once you've got all your fonts favorited, you can close out of the library. And when you check your list here, now you will see them in the list. 
If you unfavorite these, so if you come into your library and you go to your favorites and you unfavorite them, remove them from your favorites, it will no longer show up in your list. So you can see it's no longer there. If you remove a favorite, but there is already that font in another book, it will remain in that book. It just won't show up in any other library after that one. So we can now change our fonts this way. And the same is true, the exact same process for your subheadings. So this will work for your subheadings and your chapter headings. It will not work for the body fonts, partly because the EPUB font choices, those are built into the user preferences for each individual device. It is not set through Atticus, but also because we have made sure to choose fonts that are optimized for print and EPUB usage. And to go beyond those just puts more risk on having formatting errors in the future. So for the body fonts, you will still be restrained to the ones that are built into Atticus, but you have a lot of variety that you can now work with for your chapter numbers, titles, subtitles, and all of the subheadings you use throughout your book. Don't forget to save your theme once you have made these selections. Pretty easy, right? We've done everything we can to make this as seamless as possible for you, and we're so excited to see what you create. I would personally love to hear what font you are most excited about using, and just so that I have some context, pair that with the genre that you write in so that we can imagine how you're using those fonts together. Leave those comments in the comment chat box below. I love hearing from you. Definitely love the interaction in our comments. If you're an Atticus author and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend you do and ring the notifications bell so that whenever we upload new videos, including these weekly insights or event announcements, any new demos and tutorials I create, you'll be notified right away when these videos go live. If you're not yet an Atticus author, make sure you check out atticus.io to get started with a 30 day money back guarantee today and uh, get formatting. I look forward to hearing from you all in the comments below and I will see you again soon.